Like this. this week let's start with this one okay so uh, Monday morning as you saw I just brought the cylinder head from the uh, 68 Bonneville <coughs> and right now I'm gonna start with the dritted up the one I have there because this week if everything goes well I can send it to inspection so I can go one day to inspection and then I can put it for sale new carburetor <coughs> and um, yeah then this one hopefully I can sell it so voila and uh, <coughs> I got the carburetor from the Royal Enfield 2 <coughs> it's back now from Frank so so that's perfect so voila I'm gonna build it and do a test ride and see how she does let's see yeah is installed so let's see let's see So I was measuring this one, somebody measured it already, but I get two, 200 less, so not uh, 45, but uh, 43. And uh, yeah, I need to check. Yes, that's one and then uh, many other things. So another day, another journey, let's go. Uh, let's start with some computer work and then uh, <coughs> Make the list of the week and uh, get at it. Yeah. So um, let's go. Oh, there we goes. This one is back. No play. I still need to adjust this one. This one, yeah. Then tighten up everything, but that's good for today. Enough for today, I mean. Um, so let's clean everything up and then uh, move on with the next. I would like to keep going on this one, but I need to do a little bit of everything so everybody's happy. One. 
up again. Let's see. Let's do this. So let's see what we found here. What's that? But what's that? What's that? So yeah, something got broken, and I think the old pump for sure. Oh, you see. Well, anyways, at least I have it on film. Um, seems to be. Let's see. That's too much oil, so I guess that the or the return line is uh, stuck or the pump got broken i don't know but it looks like yeah oil problem i don't know at least just what i saw now <laughs> uh, here some more aluminum yes yep okay i'm curious but i need to drain the engine wait i'm gonna put the light on yes okay so let's do to show it that's way too much oil that's for sure. You can see there more aluminum. Let's give it a second. Bam! So that's not good. Yes. I don't know what's going on, but uh, oh yeah. I can see here went broken too. So I think something was rumbling inside the, the engine. But what? I don't know yet. Let's see and discover this mystery together. Okay, let's put it back together and go for a test ride. Okay, like always, still living in the edge. My phone is almost dying. So, time to do a test ride with this one. It wasn't planned to do it today, but because I got the battery, I need to do it. So, voila. I'm not going to film. Why? Because it's almost dying. And if I need some, some help, you know. But uh, if something happens, or in the way back, I see that everything goes perfect and in the way back uh, um, I can film maybe maybe like two or three minutes then I will do it okay so see you later so far let's see this one is leaking uh, where was it the breather is leaking it's going all over the place this one okay I didn't put any uh, cat can in this one that one and then I see it's leaking a little bit from here, so this could be from this plate. But besides that, the background's good. The only thing I notice now is that uh, at the fourth gear, no power. Like, goes goes like, oh. So I will check the carburetor. But first I'm gonna fix all these leakings, and tomorrow I'll do a good test ride. So let's get back to the garage. A lot of power when she gets to the fourth. I don't know if it's a really long gear or so, but the power really goes really low.
further I've been riding with the lights on I don't know if it's to see, possible to see in the video but voila so that's good the indicators work, the brake light works, the turn light works so pretty happy oh, that's it, oh, here see, I put it on neutral I hope so, yeah so voila Feels good, but it can be a little bit better in the fourth gear. But, yeah, what I was saying, this one works. This one works. So, I'm happy with that. And the bike is still pretty stable now. But I need to clean up the leakings and so, and of course this one is leaking. So, yeah. Yes, let's clean up all this and uh, move on. First thing for today, load up this one with the DTA, ready to go for the inspection, and then um, yeah, then start to move on with the with the day. So properly secure, voila! Let's go to work. Okay, so right now let's do a test right on the on the Royal Enfield. Now I'm warming up the engine, I'm going to close out the car and everything and let's see how it does. I will do a time lap just to keep uh, battery and then uh, when I'm almost back I will make a video. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so far so good. Um, I don't see any oil leaking only through this one here but that's all that's all what I can see so not bad not bad now I'm gonna take it in the, in the high road well no high road but a quick quick road just to see how she does fingers crossed God, yes, okay, let's cut out and make a video. I'm happy, finally. finally. Oh, funny enough, um, I did all this travel and then I noticed that when I was there, actually the papers that I had were from the red one and not from the Drita because they are the same uh, they have the same cover like the same but the, when I place them they are exactly the same the outside is exactly the same but yeah hey. so I guess the next week I need to go again hopefully Monday let's see fingers crossed to do so and that oh, okay. Okay. See? Okay. Yeah? And you can get it. There we go. Baby. 
beetje gas geven, een klein beetje. Is goed. Anders of niet? Zo, een beetje blij? Een klein beetje blij? Oké. Okay. Je moet er nog even aan wennen, waarschijnlijk naar de neutro, ja. Na één keer is het, ja. Goed zo. Okay, so Friday morning, the, yesterday <coughs> the Royal Enfield uh, was delivered, so voila, nice, but seems to be that, uh, of course, um, yeah, the owner took the motorcycle on the highway and took it uh, in the highway for almost about two hours, something like that, maybe a little bit more. And uh, let's see, after that he had uh, some oil leaking through the breather of the engine, I guess. I still didn't get the video, so I'm waiting for that, but I think so. Uh, through the breather was a lot of oil. And um, this morning when she checked the, the oil level, the, um, the engine was almost empty. So um, yeah, let's see. I don't know, I don't know. It's uh, quite uh, interesting. I asked him like, how hard did you ride the bike? Because that bike, it goes maybe max, max 100. And uh, yeah, he, he ride it for, yeah. I don't know how long, but he ride it 100 for sure, he told me. So we will see, I don't know, I don't know. So let's wait for the video, see what I get uh, to see, and then see what we can do. Yeah, and in the meantime, let's uh, let's take this one apart. Those I need to take them. I need to take the current uh, current shaft um, apart, clean it up, put it all back together, and send it away for the grinding. This one they're gonna flat out the cylinder head and the. Um, uh, the cylinder is going to be flattened too, so um, everything is perfect later on for mount mounted. So let's go. Oh, voila! Let's see. Let's try to show it. That's all what I got on this one now. So not bad, not bad. It's uh, looking pretty well, pretty good. I mean, yeah. So yeah, let's clean it up, change those, put the new ones, fix everything up and bring it away. Okay, this one is ready. Okay. 
Okay, so right now, let's see. Uh, now I'm back from bringing away the parts from the Norton Commando. Uh, to So the flat head and, the, and all the other parts, so good, that's one. Now before I went away, I got everything ready to pop some oil into the system. So that's two, the Royal Enfield. Um, I told to, to the owner Chris, we were spoken. Uh, he's going to fill up the oil and after that do some test right in the neighborhood, see how the bike really does because uh, yeah I know that uh, the bike or at least that's how I feel some so, like that one it shouldn't go in the highway uh, so just test it in the neighborhood see how the bike does really and uh, um, hope that is over the problem from the oil <laughs> and otherwise well then I need to find a way to fix it, I don't know, but... Yeah, funny, eh? I test the bike, nothing happened! Hey, hey, hey! Somebody take it home, Pama! Problem! So, I don't know, I think he, he was riding the bike too hard, but uh, he said it's not that way, so I, I believe him, but still I have some doubts. <laughs> But uh, yeah, let's get to work. He's gonna fill up now the oil on the engine from the Royal and then, uh, yeah, then uh, let's see, let's see. So, poco a poco, yeah. Okay, so there we go. This is the first, this is the inner cover, we can see. Of course, this is the mark, so I still need to refine it. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna keep working on it. And then, uh, yeah, it needs to look like this. <laughs> but as you can see, this one is a straight, and this one has a bend on it. And that's because the, yeah, the, the engine and the the clutch is a little bit deeper. It goes a little bit deeper than on the front side. So must have this. But uh, looking nice, poco a poco. Okay, so let's see. Right now, it's almost, almost there. So the front side is perfect. This one is perfect too. The only thing is that the whole still not big enough for this one. The same for here. Perfect cut it, but it would be better if it's um, um, longer or bigger. Yeah. Okay, so it's fitting, of course. As you can see, it's not perfectly round, but it's fine. Um, let's see, I still need to reshape this one and this one. But that's the clear I'm, I was looking for. Voila. Okay, this one. Actually, I need to do a bracket and fix it there. So it's going to be a bracket that's going to go like in here. Tac, tac. I thought here underneath too. So let's see. Yeah. Poco a poco, but um, now I'm gonna uh, refine this, refine this, measure this, this bracket and then see how, how stable it is. And if with that one is enough, then it's good. And otherwise I will do it a fixed point too here. We will see. Okay, so let's try to show it. The bracket that I meant and uh, now I'll, I will need to weld it at the back and test how how it looks but already even though it's not welded it's already working on like it's pretty stable yeah so let's see let's see so this is how it looks right now I clean it up okay you can see so that's nice this one I made it already, but I need to weld it. I did some testing because for this one I want to weld 
not with the tick but with the flame and I saw already that I need to change something on my uh, flame torch so I can weld the aluminum so let's see let's see Lady, don't die on me Ah, bloopers! <laughs>